Okay, today we are going to have a go at sound mapping. And to do that, you need a piece of paper, a piece of card, or in this case, a piece of dry whiteboard and a pen. So to start off, I'm going to put myself on the map and I'm going to show myself by marking an X in the middle. Anything that I can hear in, in front of me goes on the top of the map, above the X, and anything I hear behind me goes at the bottom, or below the X. So I'm just going to stop and listen to what's going on around me just now. And I can hear a jackdaw, and it's on the roof in the front of me and to my left. So I'm going to draw a bird shape. It's there. It doesn't have to be a really good drawing of bird, but I'll know what it is um, if I look at it again. I can hear the rain pitter pattering on the ground and onto my jacket. Around here, I'm just going to change my pen. Dry white boards do not like rain. Okay, so lots of rain. I'm going to start listening again. And I can hear the heating from my house coming out of the vent next to me and it creates clouds of steam as it comes through the, the pipe. Okay, so I've made a swirly shape to show the steam that I know is helping to make the noise. And I've got a little water feature in the garden which is just a tub with um, a pipe that dribbles the water out so I can hear that dripping out over the rocks so I'm making little dripping pictures there ok, so I'm keeping listening and I can hear the jackdaw that I heard a, a moment ago it's actually flown away so it's flying away from me but staying in front And I can hear, hear it's a day for lots of birds. I can hear birds behind me as well. Okay. So you get the idea. Anything that I can hear that's happening in front of me, I draw on my map above the X. Anything I hear behind me, I draw below the X. Anything to my right, I draw on the right-hand side of my card. And anything to my left, on the left-hand side of my card. If I come out later on in the afternoon, it will probably be a different map. And it would be really interesting to do a map first thing in the morning, maybe one at lunchtime, and one late on in the day. And then look at the three maps and see how they're the same and what makes them different. So that is very simple sound mapping.